Here are three things to know about the reaction to Edward Snowden's revelation of NSA surveillance. One, international reactions abroad were surprisingly muted because foreign leaders are aware, as President Obama himself has pointed out, that their security intelligence services engage in similar activities. In fact, the U.S. has more oversight of its surveillance than many other nations. And President Obama has promised a review of U.S. intelligence gathering mechanisms so that we can properly balance legitimate security and privacy concerns in the new era of big data. Two, the revelations have nonetheless precipitated a series of reactions in the digital realm itself and signal the breakdown in the consensus that has allowed the free flow of data across borders and led to incredible leaps forward in innovation, expression, and commerce. This week, the European Parliament passed tough new data protection rules out of committee that would put U.S. companies operating in Europe in an impossible situation of checking with EU authorities before complying with U.S. authorities' demands. And the Parliament has called for a full review of the important U.S.-EU safe harbor framework, which eases digital commerce between Europe and the U.S. Earlier this month, Brazil announced plans to route Internet traffic around the United States. Meanwhile, in Montevideo, Uruguay, two weeks ago, the directors of all the organizations that actually develop and administer Internet standards issued a statement calling for accelerating the globalization of the naming and numbering functions towards what they called an environment in which all stakeholders, including all governments, participate on an equal footing. That part of the statement constituted an explicit rejection of the U.S. Commerce Department's oversight of key parts of the governance structure of the Internet. While expanding oversight over these organizations beyond the U.S. may be overdue, it raises a serious question of what the new structure will be. The organizations have reiterated their support for safeguarding free expression and free flow of information, but the question remains how to do so if authoritative regimes wind up with seats at the table. Three, in the digital era, free flow of information is as important as free flow of goods was in the industrial era, but more so since freedoms of expression and association are also at stake. The Snowden revelations threw a lit match in a combustible situation. A new consensus must be built that answers legitimate privacy, governance, and other concerns without restricting this flow of information.